worked at the Wolf in, in Birmingham and with Josh, who's the uh, owner? Owner, yeah, co-owner. Uh, co- co-owner yeah. of, the, of, of the Wolf and um, special guest co-presenter. <laughs> Returning after a, what, two or three year hiatus? Where is it? It hasn't been that long. It's been about two years since, since, since your last appearance. We've okay. got um, Carl, who's uh, the, the bearded one, the bearded one <laughs> who everyone knows you. <laughs> um, so, so Josh, um, tell us a little bit about The Wolf. Uh, so we, <coughs> me and my sister used to, used to work for pub companies and whatever in, in London. Got sick of working for people, so I thought we'll come home and uh, start our own place up. So it took us about 18 months to find the right place because every pub in Birmingham is owned by Christian Brothers mm-hmm. and they never want to sell. <laughs> Plus, and, uh, so we found a solicitor's office that was relatively cheap and uh, started smashing it to pieces and made a bar. <laughs> Okay. And you're about, you're what, about a ten minute walk from the town centre? Yeah, it's about ten, ten minutes if you have a brisk walk, which is good. And then there's, a, there's the tram that leaves New Street, and we're sort of in between St Chad's and St Paul's for that. Mm-hmm. It takes, it takes your commute to about two minutes, then, which is nice. It's nice to walk, it. yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah, a nice it's walk, a decent yeah, walk, actually. Yeah. yeah. And, and as we found, it's kind of about halfway between the town centre and Burning Soul as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a nice stop off in either direction. Definitely. Um, so tell us a little bit about the setup you've got here. You've got a number of, of, of taps on. Yes, yeah, so um, when we opened, we only had four. So we had four sort of keg lines. Started with, uh, I think we had Crate, Four Pure, and Daya on. And, um, noticed after about a week that 95% of what we sold was draft so I thought let's just go for 10 okay thought what's the biggest python we can fit through that hole in the <laughs> three foot wall that we uh, drilled through so yeah moved up to 10 lines and can I ask you about the yeah. tap handles as well the tap handles yeah, yeah. where'd so you get them from we imported them from America really yeah so okay. nowhere seems nowhere ever here makes hand carved <laughs> tap handles unless you want to pay a fortune for yeah. it and get someone to do it so uh, yeah we've got more over from America from this so guy there's a theme of. going through the whole lot well we started off with a wolf an eagle and a coyote okay. and then when we went up to ten we was like let's just get loads more animals so we bought as many animals as we could find <laughs> and then they got held up in customs for two months because I think they thought we were trying to smuggle drugs in our hand car taps. <laughs> so we had to pay loads of money to get them out of customs and yeah but I, I wanted them in because I went up into America and you go to all the bars and they've got the massive tap handles everywhere I just think it looks so much better than just a, a bit of a feature yeah. 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 or a little black candle that you pull down yeah, so. so do you is do you aim just to serve sort of local beers in here, or are you looking at what what's going on in the UK? What are the best beers that we can get in right now? Yeah, well, definitely. Well, we try to get as much local as we can. Like we buy a lot from Twisted Barrel, and then we get Burning Soul and everyone in and Fixed Wheel. But um, I don't. Not that it's limited for the area, but I do. I like to go all over the UK. Well, the thing is, you've got from. plenty of taps. Yeah, so we've always got an option. Yeah. So we can always keep some local stuff on, but then we'll get stuff from from wherever. But um, I like trying new breweries as well, ones that I've not necessarily heard of. Mm. Always get a beer in and see how it goes, and it tends to pay off like nine times out of ten. You but, currently got a tap takeover going on, haven't you? Yeah, with Wild Weather from yeah. Reading, which. I don't think I've seen them anywhere on draft. No. In, in Birmingham. So you see a lot of anywhere. cans around. Yeah, yeah, cans, yeah, yeah. I've seen cans, but I very rarely see them on draft. But we've had a few beers off them before and they've always been great. So when I was booking all the tap takeovers, I thought, why not? So what's next, next month then? And what's so, well, we've got, got two more this month. So yeah. Thursday the 19th, we've got the Brett Brett double IPA launch from. Wild beer. Okay, cool. So we've got six breaded beers that they've done that are going to be on tap. So I think we've got stuff like Jambo, their uh, Imperial Stout, and now you tell me because I've been trying, oh, I've been really trying to get hold of Jambo for a long period of time. It's going be on Thursday. Can't imagine it will run out Thursday. It's a big uh, beer, isn't it? Yeah, eleven yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a starter. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's for you. Yeah. 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 
and then the t- Tuesday the 24th, so the Tuesday after that we've got Northern Monks coming down, doing seven taps to take over. And I think after that we've got North Brewing and Manchester Brewing Company in November. Yeah. Cool. So how do you find your um, punters respond to tap takeovers? Uh, uh, is it something they go for? Or? Yeah, we, I mean we get there's a lot of the usual crowd that come in that sort of go to a lot of the beer events in Birmingham. But then we've got a lot of locals that will come in because they'll see the posters in the windows and they just like to try stuff. Mm. So they're not necessarily going to like everything, but they come in and try, and it seems to go down really well. Yeah. So part part of the reason why we're up here this this weekend is we're sort of looking at the Midlands as as a whole and kind of asking the question of has it been overlooked in terms of the, of the beer scene and I'd, I'd be really keen to get your view on that in, in terms of a bar owner. Yeah, I don't not so much overlooked, but I just think it's slightly more behind than everywhere else. I just think because Birmingham is so big as well it's, it's hard like, a little area hasn't been created so like I don't know Hackney and Bermondsey and then the northern quarter in Manchester it hasn't got its own little area yet do you think so, Birmingham is struggling with having an identity then? I think so yeah. I think it's still a little bit stuck in its ways Carlin's massive in Birmingham everybody loves Carlin <laughs> are you telling us <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But um, yeah, I think this area is slowly picking up, which is good. We've got sort of a little route now, so there's us, Burning Soul, and there's Rock and Roll Brewery, and then when you head more into the Jewelry Quarter, there's Thousand Trades and stuff like that. So hopefully we can sort of build our own little area. Yeah. So what, what's next for the Wolf? Where, where, where are you going? What, so, what, what are your plans for world domination in oh, the next year or so? Well, we've got one little project in the go, which is we're making a... Um, a mobile craft bar so we're converting an old 1972 Vida Wee camper into a mobile bar for like festivals and events and weddings and things like that but after that we just want to keep open sites constantly looking for the next one and want to try, try and obviously not go huge but a nice local somewhere else yeah. on the other side offer a similar thing so I just think Birmingham needs more places to introduce people into beer yeah. no, I agree with that as well Definitely. I think we've got the right starting rocks yeah. now I, I, I think with yourselves and um, the guys from Clink as well yeah definitely um, everyone's kind of put that foundation there and it's just trying to build on that whereas a couple of years ago we wouldn't have had that at all no, nothing but so if people are heading to Birmingham yeah. where do they find you where do they find out information about you this is uh, your, your opportunity to right, yeah, so we're on <laughs> speak to the thousands of people that, that, that listen to the, to, to the podcast we're on Constitution Hill on the edge of the jewellery quarter which um, obviously yeah, a short tram ride away from the town centre heading towards Wolverhampton don't but, say that word <laughs> and uh, yeah you can go on our website which is uh, thewolfbirmingham.co.uk and we have our untapped beer list which constantly changes when we change beers and uh, we pretty much live on Twitter I was going to say that the wolf <laughs> so yeah okay. constantly on Twitter all the time so okay. that's where we usually are brilliant I'm going um, <laughs> to let you get back to your tap takeover thanks Lovely. for giving us a little bit of time Carl thanks for uh, reappearing again but it's, it's not the not the last <laughs> time today that's that, that's for sure um cheers guys appreciate it no worries.